Hello. Our topic tonight is giving to yourself. We're going to be doing a 30 minute meditation and we're going to give to ourselves. Now, when I went to the Berkeley Psychic Institute eons ago, that was a big topic was giving to yourself. And it never occurred to me that um, that was an important thing to do. Being a healer, I was used to giving to others all day long, every day. And so giving to yourself was a new concept to me. Now, at the time, they talked about giving to yourself in the way of like um, more physical things like give yourself chocolate or um, give yourself exercise, um, give yourself a massage, things like that. Or even meditating is giving to yourself. What we're going to do tonight in this meditation is give energy vibrations to ourselves. So I've got five different vibrations picked out for us tonight that we're going to run through our energy channels and give to ourselves. So those five vibrations are peace, love, appreciation, self-respect, and happiness. So that's what we're going to be giving to ourselves tonight. And I'm, I'm really excited to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to find our space first and run energy, and then we'll get into the vibrations that I've picked out for us. All right, go ahead and close your eyes and bring all of your awareness right behind your eyes into the place that we call the center of your head. Be aware of the edge of your aura and start to call that in around you closer to your body so that it's only about two to three feet from the edge of your skin. And then say hello to a brand new grounding cord at the base of your spine. If you have one on now, go ahead and drop it into the center of the planet, and create a brand new one, nice and strong, firm. Drop it all the way down to the center of the planet and anchor it in. And make sure that the attachment at the base of your spine, where your first chakra is, is really strong. Let's go ahead and release some of the energies of the day to test drive your new grounding cord. Let's start with responsibility energy. See if you can let go of any responsibility energy you might be holding on to in your space. Notice if you're holding any responsibility in your jaws and release that. Another place I see responsibility being held is in the stomach, that third chakra area. See if you can ground that out. And then if you have any fatigue or tiredness from your work day, go ahead and send that down your grounding cord. And take a look around your aura. And if you have other people's agendas in your aura, say hello to them and send them down your grounding cord. It's another way of saying other people's mock-ups in your space. You can say hello to what everybody else wants you to do and send it down your grounding cord. And now we're going to put our female grounding on, which is putting a big tube underneath your uterus and grounding each of your ovaries into that tube. That tube drops into your main grounding cord. 
And on the back side of that tube, you're going to ground each of your sciatic nerves. And the first energy to release once you get your female grounding on would be male energy. Let any male energy that's stuck in your female space start to release down that female grounding cord. Let all that male energy release. Now this could be male energy from a partner, uh, a husband, a father. It can also be male energy that gets dumped in your space just um, day to day. Good. Now we're going to ground the female creative energy that gets generated out in front of your abdomen. And you're going to create a brand new big tube underneath um, this female creative energy. And so that tube resides right out in front of your abdomen. And you can ground that tube all the way down to the center of the planet. We're going to ground our usual suspects out of your female creative energy. That would be, the first one would be demands from other people. Go ahead and let go of anybody else's demands for your female creative energy. Go down that grounding cord. And these demands might be from family, friends, work, school. Just let all those demands release. And follow it right up with expectations anybody's expectations of you and your creative energy. You can let go of those and send those expectations down the grounding cord. And then last but never least, problems. Make sure you clear everybody else's problems out of your creative energy. Good. Now, as you're grounding that female creative energy, you can also get that moving up the front part of your body. You can take your hands and kind of roll it up the front part of your body. It's a nice healing to do that. You can do that right now. Get that creative energy flowing. Now the first energy vibration we're going to give to ourselves tonight is the vibration of peace. And what we're going to do is clean out that vibration first, just so you're not running all kinds of stuff through your space. We're gonna create a rose right now out on your screen and let this rose represent your peace vibration. Put a grounding cord underneath the stem of that rose and ground it to the center of the planet. 
and take a look at what your vibration of peace looks like right now. And with the grounding cord on the rose, you're going to start clearing any energies that don't look like peaceful vibrations that might be sitting in that rose. Go ahead and start to ground it and clean that peace vibration off. Ground out any dark colors or grays, maybe even white energy, and just let that rose release. What you're looking for is the highest and brightest color in your peace rose so that you can take a little of that color and bring it into your crown chakra and start to run it in a clockwise motion in your crown. So see if you can find the highest and brightest color in that rose and then bring some of that into your crown chakra and let it start rolling around in a clockwise motion. And let that peace vibration go down the back channels. Let it flow all the way down through each of your major chakras. And when that peace vibration gets to your first chakra, let it Roll around in the first chakra in a clockwise motion and then bring it back up the front channels. Let that peace vibration move up through your front channels and when it gets to your throat chakra, you're going to branch some of that peace vibration out into your arm channels. Then that peace vibration continues up your front channels through your um, through your the center of your head and out the top of your head. Let that peace vibration clean out any noise in your telepathic channels as it comes up from your throat chakra through the center of your head. This would be the energy that you might call white noise. All of the chatter and noise in your telepathic channels Let that peace vibration wash through it and clean it out. And say hello to that peace vibration flowing through your body and let it say hello to each of your cells. Feel your body relaxing as it starts matching that peace vibration.
Now you can go ahead and bring a gold sun into the rose that you've been looking at for your peace vibration. Fill it up with gold and then blow up the rose. We're done with the peace vibration. And go ahead and create a brand new rose and let this rose represent love. Put a grounding cord under the stem of the rose and ground that rose to the center of the planet. And clean out any dark energies that might be affecting your love vibration. One of the energies you might want to clear from your love vibration is conflict. Just say hello to it as a color and ground it out of the rose. And the other energy I see you might want to ground out is rejection. Let's bring that love vibration up to a pure love vibration without any other vibrations attached to it. Say hello to the highest and brightest color in your love rose and bring some of that color into your crown chakra and start running it in a clockwise motion. Let that love vibration go down your back channels and start traveling towards your first chakra. Let it clean out your chakras as it flows down. When it gets to the first chakra, swirl it around in a clockwise motion and then send it up the front channels. And as that love vibration travels up your front channels, branch some of that love out at your fifth chakra in your throat so that it can travel out your arm channels and clean out your creative channels. Let the rest of that love vibration travel from your throat chakra up through the center of your head and out the top of your head. And let yourself just enjoy the pure vibration of love moving through your body. that love vibration clean out your heart chakra and release whatever energies come out right down that grounding cord. Notice how your body enjoys having that love vibration move through it. 
It's very validating. Okay, go ahead and create a gold sun above the rose for your love vibration. Fill it in with gold and then blow up the rose. And we're going to create another rose for the vibration of appreciation and ground that rose to the center of the planet. And think about when the last time was when you ran appreciation for yourself. That's what you're going to do right now. Go ahead and ground that rose in front of you and start to clean out your vibration of appreciation. And of course, you're looking for the highest and brightest color in there. Ground out darker, lower level colors. Now find that highest and brightest color for your vibration of appreciation and start bringing some of that into your crown chakra. Move it around in a clockwise motion and let it start to go down your back channels, passing through each of your major chakras. Really let that appreciation soak into each of your chakras so that each of your chakras are appreciated. When the energy gets to your first chakra, go ahead and swirl it around in a clockwise motion and move it back up the front channels. Go ahead and branch it out at the throat chakra and let appreciation run through your creative channels and out your hand chakras. And then the rest of that appreciation goes straight up from the throat chakra through the center of the head and out the top of your crown chakra. And while you're running appreciation, you can take a moment to think of all the things that you appreciate about yourself. Good. Go ahead and create a gold sun above your appreciation rose. Fill it in with gold and then blow it up. And we're going to create another rose for self-respect. And we'll, we'll put the rose for self-respect. What you're going to be running through your energy channels is respect. So let's go ahead and ground that rose and start to clean it out.
Start to clear any dark energies that get between you and your ability to respect yourself. Clear any dark colors, grays, whites, browns, blacks. And take a look at your vibration of respect. What, what does that look like to you right now? Where do you see the highest and brightest color? And what is that color? Go ahead and bring that highest and brightest color into your crown and move it around in a clockwise motion and let it start to flow down your back channels. And notice what it feels like to run respect in your channels. When that energy gets to the base of your spine, move it around in a clockwise motion in the first chakra and send the rest of it up your front channels. When it comes up to your throat chakra, go ahead and branch that respect out into your creative channels. And then bring the rest of that respect vibration straight up through your head and out the top of your crown. You'll notice that respect is a little different vibration than love. but it's definitely a vibration of giving to yourself. And as you're running respect through your energy channels, say hello to that respect also being able to go into the cells of the body so that you show your body you have respect for it. Okay, go ahead and create a gold sun above the rose for your self-respect and fill it in with gold. You can blow up that rose now and we'll go on to our last vibration that we're going to give to ourselves tonight. And that is the vibration of happiness. Go ahead and create a rose out in front of you on your screen for happiness and ground the stem of that rose to the center of the planet. Start grounding out any energy that is not happy in your happiness rose and clean that vibration out. One of the main energies I see in everyone's happiness rose is problems, that problems affect your happiness. So let's go ahead and just 
ground out any problems that you find in your happiness vibration. Now look for the highest and brightest color for your happiness vibration, something that looks really good to you, that's going to just make your whole body feel great and happy, and start to bring that color into your crown chakra and move it around in a clockwise motion. Let that happiness vibration run down your back channels all the way to your first chakra. Swirl it around in your first chakra and move the combination up your front channels. Bring that happiness vibration right up into the throat chakra and branch happiness out into your creative channels in your arms. The rest of that happiness goes straight up through the center of your head and out the top of your crown. Let this happiness vibration flow through your space and really clean everything out. Let this happiness vibration that you're running through your energy channels, let it clean out um, let it clean out emotions. Notice how your body gets excited when it has happiness flowing through it. And while you're running happiness through your own energy channels and body, you might put a little bit of that happiness in tomorrow so that you wake up and you have a day set at happiness. Tomorrow is Saturday, September 9th, and you can set the energy for that to be happy. And one of the easiest ways you could do that is to just create a rose for tomorrow, Saturday, September 9th, and run that happiness vibration through that rose. So you could put that rose right next to the rose that you already have on your screen for happiness. And then go ahead and create a gold sun above your rose for happiness. Fill your happy rose in with gold sun. Blow it up. And you can blow up the other rose that was um, for tomorrow and setting the energy for tomorrow. You can blow that rose up too. And create a great 
big giant gold sun above your head and collect up your energy from the week, wherever you might have left it. Call it back from friends, family, work, school, errands. And you have all that energy of yours collected up into that gold sun. Fill yourself in and fill in every cell of your body with that gold energy. Giving yourself gold tonight. And when you're all filled up, you can come on out of trance. And may it be with the blessing of divinity that this giving to ourselves meditation tonight be complete. Amen. Oh, I hope you liked that. I just have a couple of things to tell you um, coming up. Let's see. We have a healing from A to Z next month, uh, next Tuesday night for anybody who's in that. And then my, my women's intuition class this month is on accomplishments. And I had scheduled that a couple months prior and I think I wasn't feeling well, so I had to cancel it or I had technical problems, I can't remember. But I'm gonna teach it this month on the 21st and that's going to be a really nice class. I've got a whole bunch of things that we're going to move through to take a look at our own accomplishments so that we can feel really good about ourselves. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then we have another healing in the sanctuary on protection later on this month. And then body beautiful is on your sense of smell. That will be later on at the end of the, at the end of the month. So I'm looking forward to all of those. And um, tomorrow, I'm going to be out at Mary Jo's for a benefit for Sylvia. We're having a benefit for that. You'll see an announcement for it tomorrow. We've sent out a couple. And um, Mary Jo is my old assistant. And she's having a, like, a, what do you call it, a pop-up craft show that she does a lot of times on her property and she's holding one especially as a benefit for Sylvia. So I will be there. Christy will be there. I hope to see you there tomorrow. All of the instructions and directions are in the email that we'll be sending out again tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing you. It'd be so great to see you in person because I'm just seeing everybody through Zoom and half the time I don't actually get to see you. So Come on down, come see us, and um, come come see what all the fun stuff is that Mary Jo has at these shows, at these craft shows, and come visit Sylvia, myself, and Christy. So I look forward to seeing you and hope to. And I've got my eyes on you. Have a really wonderful evening and have a great weekend. Even if I don't see you, have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me tonight for giving to ourselves, and I will see you next week. All right, good night.